This is an Insignia training video focusing on message creation on the Domino laser printer using QuickStep software. In this video, you will learn how to create a text field, an offset field, a prompted field, insert a QR code and data matrix, and insert images. Firstly, we will walk through how to create a text field and offset field. To start with, open messages in the bottom left. Select New Messages. Under the Add tab, select the AB icon. Using the keyboard, type your message, for example, Best Before. Once you are happy with your message, hit the green tick in the bottom right. When the item is selected, you are able to adjust the size using the red square to the right, and you can move it by simply dragging the item. To add an offset to the field, click the Edit tab and select the keyboard icon. From there, select the plus variable tab, and then select plus create new. In the pop-up, choose clock. This is where you can edit all aspects of the offset, its name, format, the actual offset, and how often it needs to update the reference. To change the name, simply click the name field. Type in what you would like to call this offset. For your future reference, it can be easiest to name it what you're setting the offset as. We'll be setting up a date offset of 270 days, so we will call it plus 270 days. Once you've entered the name, hit the green tick in the bottom right. Now we'll change the format of the offset. Click the format element and hit clear to clear what is currently entered. Using the list of options, choose how you want your offset to be displayed. Some of the options available include day, month, year and AM or PM. To separate the elements, there are five options on the right hand side, such as a slash or colon. Once you have finished the offset's format, select the green tick in the bottom right corner. Now, to set the actual offset, enter the information into the offset fields. In this case, we will select the days element. Clear what is currently there. Enter 270 using the keypad. Hit the green tick at the bottom right once you've entered the information. This is all we need to enter in this section when setting up the offset. Check all the data is correct and then select the green tick. Now you can see that in addition to the best before text, we now have a plus 270 days offset added afterwards. Using the red square adjusts the size of the item so that it fits into the frame. Once you're happy with how it appears, go back into the message tab at the top left. Select the Save As icon. This is the third icon across from the left showing two floppy disks. Click the Name field. Enter what you would like to call this code. In this example, we're going to name it again after its offset, plus 270 days. Alternatively, you can name it after something else, such as your product, whether it be a type of chocolate bar or beverage. Once you have entered a name for it, select the green tick button. On the screen, you can add it to a different message store, though in this case, we'll just keep it at message store one. Once complete, hit the save button. A pop-up will appear confirming you have saved your message and where it is located. Hit OK to close the pop-up. To see your message, click the home button in the bottom left. Go into messages, and under the message store one, you can now see your offset message. Now we will look at creating a prompted field. To start, the first thing is to do is open a new message by clicking the message icon in the bottom left corner. You then tap on new message in the top left. To create a prompted field, click on the AB plus icon which opens up a new screen. You then click the variable add icon at the top, hit create new on the right, and then select prompted field. You can then rename your prompted field by clicking in the name field. You can then clear out the existing prompt one and name it as you wish. In this example, we'll call it batch number. You then hit the tick button down on the bottom right. And next is to tap into the default value. This can be anything you wish, such as question marks, or you could leave it blank, or A, B, C, D in this case. The next is to create a prompt or what would you would like the prompt to say on the screen. So you can clear out the default prompt and add it as you wish. In this case, it will be please enter the batch code. The next step is to put in your input mask. The input mask will 
help the end user put the correct numerical characters. So if it's a number, you can put just numerical characters or you can have other variations such as capitals and, and so forth. In this case, we'll put question mark. Once you hit the green tick box in the bottom right, this will add your element to your actual message. What you can do is you can actually move the elements around and resize it using the little red square that you see on the screen. Once you're happy with your message, you can then hit the message button at the top of the screen. You can hit the save as uh, icon, and then you can name the message as you wish. In this case, we've called it batch code, and then hit save to finish. You can then go back to your home screen. Now that your message is saved, you can then open the message and send it to print by hitting the message icon in the bottom left. Open up message store where you've stored your message. Open your message, which is called batch code. We open it up, and then you're able to send to print. This will then bring up your new prompt with the default being A, B, C, D, E, F. You can delete the default out, put in the prompt as you wish, and then hit the bottom right tick box. Then hit send to the printer, and then this will be what will be on your message. We will now cover how to insert QR codes and data matrices. The first step is to open up messages on the bottom left. Select New Message, under the Add tab, select the barcode icon, the second one from the left. Once selecting this, there will be a range of different options available for the code such as its size and resolution. To choose the code type, we need to edit the MRC type element. This stands for Machine Readable Code. Click this element. A pop-up will appear with all the MRC options listed alphabetically. For this example, we will be inserting the QR code. Use the arrows on the right hand side to scroll down until you find QR code. Upon finding it, click it. To edit what appears when scanning the QR code, click into the plus text tab at the top left. There are different keyboards available along the bottom of the screen depending on what you would like to have in this field. In this example, we will enter a URL. Select the QWERTY keyboard. Type what you would like in the text field. Once complete, hit the green tick in the bottom right. Use the red square to adjust the size of the code. Now we will enter a data matrix. This process is very similar, except we select a data matrix MRC rather than the QR code. Click into the Add tab at the top of the screen. Select the barcode icon. Alter the code settings as desired. Click into the MRC type drop down. Use the side arrows to scroll down until you find data matrix and select this option. Go into the plus text tab at the top. Using the appropriate keyboard, enter what you would like to appear when the code is scanned. Once all settings are correct, hit the green tick. Use the red square, adjust the code size and drag to change the placement. When you have finished the code, go into the Message tab at the top. Select the Save As option, the third icon. Click into the Name field. Enter what you would like to call this code. Once you have entered the name for it, select the green tick button. At this point, you are able to add it to a different folder. In this case, we will just keep it in the Message Store one. Once complete, hit the Save button. A pop-up will appear confirming that you have saved your message. Hit OK. To see your message in the saved location, click the Home button on the bottom left. Go into Messages, and under Message Store, you will now see the QR code and the data matrix message. Finally, we will look at inserting images. First step is to open Messages on the bottom left of the screen. Select New Message. Under the Add tab, select the Images icon, the third one from the left with the smiley face. This will bring up a pop-up showing all images loaded onto the printer. Select the desired image. Once you select an image, another pop-up will appear where you can edit aspects of the image such as size. Hit the green tick to confirm the information. 
After that, the image you have selected will appear in the coding area. Use the red square to adjust the size and you can click and drag the image to move it. When you have finished editing the image, go into the message tab at the top. Select the save as option, the third icon. Click into the name field. Enter what you would like to call this message. Once you have entered a name for it, select the green tick button. You are able to add it to a different message folder, though in this case we'll keep it in the message store one. Once complete, hit the save button. A pop-up will appear confirming that you have saved your new message. Hit OK to close the pop-up. To see your new message, click the home button in the bottom left. Go into messages and under the message store one, you will see your new image message. Thank you for watching this message creation tutorial. If you have any questions, call our support team on 1800 804 445 or email us at service at insignia.com.au.